Okay, hello to everyone. Hope everyone is doing great. I'm gonna jump right into this video because I am really excited to pass along this message. I've been wanting to do this video for a minute. If you know, I am a mother, so gotta make some time to make this video. Anywho, okay. So before I get into it, if you can, if you find anything good about this video, if you if this video makes you feel anything, Give me a thumbs up, please, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. It motivates me to make more videos. Anyway, okay, so the message for today is people out here, really envious people, they want to be you so bad, but they're not willing to put in the work. They're not willing to make changes. They just want to take what is yours for them they don't see what they have what their purpose is in their life they don't see it they want they see what you have and they want to take it from you envious people are dangerous okay so i have some notes just because i want to get through this video and make as many points as possible okay so for those of you who know about narcissism and have dealt with narcissists what I have come to really truly see is that when you have been with the narcissist and you've given them so much of your time, they mirror you. They mirror you. So they steal from you because they are out here in the world living off of the energy and all the greatness and richness that you're giving to them and they're taking that and going off and doing what they do if you know what i mean about narcissists they're demon possessed people truly they're just like the worst of the worst if you can pinpoint a narcissist run 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 don't look back don't look back if god has given you chances if god has given you opportunity addition more opportunities in your life don't disrespect run move forward with your life it's not it's not a mistake okay you have been saved okay to be honest i say this because i feel like i've been given another opportunity in my life i feel like things have happened Things have happened to me to where I should not even be alive anymore. You know how they say, lie on me and I'll speak the truth of you or whatnot. I don't even care to do that because some people's truths will have you be unalived. So move on with your life. Anyway, okay. So as a person with... An anointing in this life as a chosen one yes I do believe that I am chosen and I absolutely believe and I absolutely know that we are not all all cut from the same cloth some people are out here just breathing <laughs> taking up our air not like that but you know what I mean like some people don't even realize the greatness of a breath. They don't wake up and say thank you. They don't see the greatness of a new day. And as someone who does, as someone who sees the power of life, the power in words, I'm letting you know, okay, I'm over here going on a tangent as i do but that's why i have my notes okay so as a chosen person i've come to realize that these people out here that are envious of you and they are envious they are envious they want to be you so bad but they're not willing to put in the work they're not willing to wake up a little bit earlier anymore every day they're not willing to Put in that little extra step to make progress in their life. I see people 
that years could go by in their lives and nothing changes, nothing changes, yet they see you and they can, even if when they see how you're doing, how you're doing it, how you're putting in the energy, how you're working and ta 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 ta, they still question your results. They still question your results because they're mad, because they're haters, because I say it, I say it in the 3D world when I have conversations. A lot of people are just mediocre, mediocre, truly. Okay, so <clears throat> isolation. Isolation is where you will find your superpowers. You must remove yourself from the crowd, the crowd of same thinking type people that wake up and just exude as much energy as a pile of laundry. A pile of laundry just sits there and it takes and it takes and it takes because you know you have to do it. <sighs> Look, I'm trying to rush through this video because I don't want to. My point is, you're special. I'm not this this is for like the people who know that are doing good in their life that they have the greater good of the world in mind that they want to do good for the world that they want to do for the generations coming that they want to leave something behind for others you know what i mean I'm not worried about the haters because the haters, you can give them the outline, the blueprint of what to do, how to do it, where to get it, and they still are not going to do it. They're just going to sit back, be little hyenas, be leeches, talk about you, gossip about you, and they're not going to do it. They're not going to do the work. They put no effort into anything other than negativity a former friend of mine we were conversating and it was like all i could hear was just negativity and i told her the power of your words speak what it is that you want all you've been speaking about is this 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 complaining everything that you don't want I have no clue what you want because you have not spoken on what you want. Forward movement, forward thinking. When you think about how nothing has to be hard. Everything is as easy or as hard as you make it. But when you think about how challenging it may be to change oneself. Think about how much time, energy, effort, meditation, all of that, that it would take, that it takes for you to change yourself. Think that, that tells you your chances of changing someone else. Don't change, don't try to change anyone. You can't do it. Focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. What I've come to see with all the people that had access to me in my life that have either no access or very limited access now is that they see me with this anger like, but why her? How is she doing it? You, Like I said, you could literally tell them how you're doing it. You could literally show them how you're doing it. You can literally hold their hand all the way to the river to drink some water and they still won't do it. They will still hate on you. They would rather put that energy on hating on you than putting that energy in changing themselves. Which reminds me, I have another point 
but um let me see here da, da, da. okay so back in the days when i was younger i remember i used to get so upset when people would talk about me and it happened a lot often people state people look if you got anything going on for yourself people are going to talk about you point blank period so if i can help you any with that if you got a whole bunch of people always talking about you first and foremost know that you're doing something right okay because the people that ain't doing nothing for their life ain't nobody talking about them okay the people that the devil already has he ain't looking for them he already got them okay but what i want to say on that is i've changed my mentality on if you're talking about me you're just sending me energy and i'll tell people like certain like i said those that have limited access to me if for whatever reason i can't cut them out of my life i say i know i know you just keep spreading smear campaigns on my name but guess what anytime you speak on me you send me energy anytime you speak on me you send me energy you know why because i'm not talking about you i'm focused on on what i'm doing i'm focused on what i gotta get done and you just out here talking about me why you got that much free time on your hand that all you do is talk bad about me and if you're talking good about me then good thanks thanks but look a lot of people are out here just watching what you're doing but they won't say congratulations they won't hype you up they will act or they will try to make it seem like they like you're nothing like all the moves that you're doing are it's nothing they will try to minimize you because they're so mad people out here really are mad know that know that know that envious people are dangerous okay i feel like and i'm uh when i was younger or now okay hindsight ta, 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 when you reflect okay reflecting back on friendships it might have seemed that envious people oh it's like they they kind of care right they kind of care because they're envious for a reason that means they like something about me no they might like it for themselves but they don't like it for you so that's why envious people are dangerous because they want your life to the point where they would be willing to take your life really if they could like i'm so serious like people can only speak on life experiences i've exposed myself and to life and to people enough to know that danger is real that people are out here demonized really really okay so you know all that to say stay strong stay strong like i said these people there are people that would really much rather put energy on hating on you on trying to bring you down than to try to make themselves better okay it's one o'clock in the afternoon you still in your pjs but want to act like you oh oh i mistakenly called the dog by your name they okay that's my point that's another point people want your reaction so bad when i tell you these people want your reaction so bad and when i was younger when i was insecure when i was unaware of myself when i didn't know who i was i was constantly angry constantly reacting constantly like why are these people talking about me da, da, da. look at this point you talk about me 
thanks you're sending me energy you want to be a secret hater you want to see me from the sidelines go ahead i used to get upset when people like like if i don't know you if we're not cool anymore we're not friends i don't want you to know anything about my life and then i'd get into it with another person like why are you telling this person about my life like i, I don't want them to look if if someone wants to know about your life that bad let them let them because your haters are your biggest fans truly truly but so they want your reaction so bad and i no longer react i no longer react i just take action i just take action for my life if you out here really concerned or putting energy into me reacting to your clownishness you're just gonna get silence and then you're gonna get mad you're getting mad because it's like uh, what whatever it is that they do the most recent um example that i can give is a person like oh 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 let me take jenny out you want to act like you mistakenly called the dog by my name you know the dog's name in the however many years old of that dog you've never done that but you're so mad you're so mad that i see you for who you are that i don't even want to mix and mingle with you like that like i'm really only here to pick up my mail but guess what i'm not gonna tell you 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 dummy you dummy you, you want to act like you mistakenly call you like you don't know the dog's name but they know what they're doing so why are you gonna react you're just gonna get silence from me you could get all of my greatness it's wild to me when people have experienced your greatness instead of like enjoying that and wanting that to continue and wanting to give to you and wanting it to be a connection a circuit a circuit they'd rather just bring you down they they cut the circuit and then wonder why they're not getting none of your energy anymore none of your effort anymore none of your greatness anymore why because my greatness is valuable my words are valuable my time my my everything is valuable i value myself and you don't so why would i give you anything it's like pouring water into a bucket with holes that's a waste you're wasting your greatness don't waste your greatness on people who don't value you who don't care for you to be great they want to be great off your back okay they mirror who you are these narcissists these envious jealous people these good for nothing energy drainers leeches hyenas i'm not even trying to look i'm not brand new to this world like it is what it is we're not all the same okay some people like i said exude as much energy as a pile of laundry what does that mean all they do is take all, you look at them and they're taking from you because it's like you're so repelling i don't even want to look at you you're just sucking i can feel you wanting to <laughs> they're so empty inside that they just want to leech onto you they want to attach to you and drain you for every last little bit of what you are and even then it won't be enough for them okay Okay, so to say all that, people who mirror you, okay, so they mirror you. Those who mirror you, these narcissistic people, they're stealing from you. You know why? Because you're a joyous, spiritual, upbeat person. You give life, you bring life to life, and they copy who you are, and they go out and get new supply do things that hurt you minimize you why because you're putting them on this pedestal right until you cut the supply off 
cut the supply y'all because you guys are worthy you guys are valuable when you cut the supply off at first because you had them on such a, a high pedestal they think they're on top of the earth on top of the world because they still out here getting new supply making a mess of the world they acting like you they acting like you while you're down here looking at them like you are trying to imitate all that i am because i've because i was around you and i gave you my presence i gave you my essence but guess what at the end of the day with time they don't even remember how to mirror you anymore. Why? Because it's not innate in them. It's in, innate in you. It's you. Okay? So, at the end of the day, they're empty, soulless people. I had, and I speak had because, honestly, much of the people that I had in my life, I had to be real with myself and it's like you are clearly wanting harm for me and you you are harming yourself and as much as I want to help you you don't even accept the help anymore it's like you're trying to pull them up but they're trying to pull you down they want to sink they want you to be sinking with them because they're not willing to get themselves out that hole they're not willing to endure the whatever amount of pain to really get out of that toxic environment to finally prosper and fly and fly so you gotta say you know what i can't be around that i can't be around to see you drown i can't be around to see you diminish your life like that I don't even want to be around to listen to what you're going through. That's infiltration. I don't allow infiltration anymore. If you're aware of something, you can't go back from that. What I'm trying to say is, for example, if someone's going through a toxic relationship, ta -ta -ta, okay, let's get through this together. Ta -ta -ta. I've gotten myself out of the most toxic of situations so now i'm in a different space space what is wealth wealth is space money is space circles the more circles a hundred a thousand a hundred thousand a million circles it's space it's just a bigger space that is freedom space so I wouldn't even allow that in my space. So why am I going to continue to hear it from you, from your mouth? You keep allowing it in your space. So I, I can't I can't be infiltrated like that anymore. You know what I mean? Like you're going to have to deal with it on your own. I feel like post COVID, post the third eye awakening of the masses, it's a huge divide. Either people doubled down on their stupidity or we have doubled down on our greatness. And it's a divide. Either you're with it or you're not. Either you're with the progression, the greatness of the world, or you're just going to stay stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck. You don't want to get out. And now you're mad. You're mad that you see your girl just over there galloping stay galloping 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 okay you you didn't want to keep up you didn't want to keep up another thing don't ever slow down for people i remember it's a simple example i walk at a certain speed like there is so much to do so much to do i try to utilize my days as best as possible because I enjoy the easy life. I enjoy the easy life. But for that easy life, look, I'm like this. I get this, then I get that. Da, 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 da. For what? So I can be chilling. So I can organize my closet. So I can do mani pedi. So I can straighten my hair. Just to 
to do easy girl stuff. But for that, I got to be at a certain pace. So one time I'm walking with a friend. She's like, why are you walking so fast? Like literally mad. Like at this point, you could already tell like you clearly got an issue with what you think is me, but I'm not your issue. You are your issue. All these things keep happening to you that even I can see. I can predict them. Girl, you're about to run into the wall and you don't stop. You don't listen. You don't listen to anybody but yourself. You don't even listen to God. You don't even listen to somebody who's speaking to you. When God is speak, God speaks through you, to you through people as well. Don't don't get it twisted, y'all. That's why we all need each other. Remove the negative connotation to the word need. We are humans. We are in a 3D experience and we all need each other. And if you don't think that's true, you're, cr you're crazy. Crazy, my friend. Okay? I need to drink a little bit of coffee. Look, I wasn't trying to keep... I wasn't... I was trying to keep this video short. I don't even know if I really hit on all my points. Because I wrote down some notes. My point is. People see you. Okay. I see you. Like I said. If you felt anything. From this video. If you want to see more videos. Anything. Or even if you would like to give me some constructive criticism. Please. But if you can. Just give me a like. Please. What I want to say is, people see you, but guess what? They're not going to compliment you. You know why? Because it burns them inside that they can't do what you're doing. But it's not that they can't. It's that they won't. They don't want to. They don't want to, yet they're still mad at you for getting the results that you're getting. Make it make, make it make sense. Can someone please make it make sense? You want to lose weight, but you can't put the hamburgers down. You want to do X, Y, and Z with your life, but you can't wake up two hours earlier than you normally do, which is even then too late. Like, I've been up since, like, 3 in the morning, and it's already set almost 8 o'clock. Not that that's the norm for people. But, come on, 6, 7, 8 a.m., 9 a.m.? I remember when I worked in corporate America, if I arrived at 9 a.m., girl, you're late, late. But people out here really sleeping in till 10.30? 11 a.m. Unless you're sleeping at 4 or 5 in the morning because you've been up all night doing this, doing that, writing, reading, getting your knowledge up, working out, cleaning, helping people, whatever it is. But people are just like the, the energy of, of a sloth. Not even to hate on sloths, but like the energy you carry, people envy it. The drive that you carry, people envy it. The passion, the desire, the everything, all the richness that you know you carry. And I say this because I know what's within me. I know the richness and the greatness that's within me. And people out here want it. They want it. They want it. Okay? I know it for facts. Anywhere I go, people talk to me. And another thing. I've come to, you know, look at that differently. Let me appreciate it. You know? <sighs> People want it. So let me, you know, but when people start just taking, 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 giving nothing to you, they want to, they want to consume your time, your energy, your ear time. They want to talk your ear off 
for what? Okay, you said all this, now where's the change? Now what are we gonna change? Where's the progression? What are we gonna make better? What are? How are you gonna wake up tomorrow with the better mentality? No, they, they want to wake up with the same attitude. They want to wake up with the same mentality because their victimhood is the only power that they got. I'm a victim, I'm a victim, I'm a victim middle finger to your victimhood okay <laughs> you know i hope you got something out of this i hope you learned something about yourself that you are great and they see you they see you and if they try to bring you down don't react act for your life take action for your life don't give them the reaction they want you to react. That means you've already taken action for them. And they're doing nothing with it. They just want to they just want to piss you off cuz they want your light. They want to piss you off because that makes them feel like something. That makes them feel like, "Oh my goodness. I just accidentally called the dog by her name, but it was just an accident." Girl, bye. Look at yourself in the mirror, please. And then there's certain, like I said, in certain situations, look, another thing, family is what you make of it, okay? Your, your 3D family is not always your family, okay? To all my scapegoats, to all my black sheep, you know what I'm talking about. Your 3D family is not always your family. Okay, so for whatever reason, ta ta ta, 3D world, a bitch just trying to get her mail, I'm trying to be in and out. When you move quick, they're, they're left like, Oh, I didn't get enough time to 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 hurt this girl, to try to piss her off, to try to take a jab at her. So as you're walking out the door, you didn't even walk in through the door. Oh, uh, uh, they want to ask you some stupid question. I literally just go like this, like use your brain. Asking dumb questions just because you want something from me so bad. You, you, they want from you so bad. They want anything that they can get from you so bad. Okay, my last point. My last point, if you're still here, thank you. Don't let God have to warn you more than once. Or get you out the pit more than once. If people have shown you who they are, once twice multiple times and god has saved you has saved your behind you're still here you're still breathing you still got a purpose because you woke up this morning stop messing with these people don't god should not have to warn you more than once because it's only going to get worse the effects are only going to multiply I'm going to tell you a quick story because I, I use metaphors and stories often. But okay, so my birthday was a few days ago. And how did I know? Someone was, called me, called me again, messaged me, messaged me, called me. Okay, if you are anything like me and you know we are just so forgiving we give people way too many chances oh my goodness i've burnt out the chances that i've given to people but anyways here i go i'm like all right let me just call this girl back hey what's oh da, 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 whatever i'm already nothing look i'm at a level where it was kind of more of like an experiment for myself like let me see what's going on let me even see what's going on with me how i behave in this situation how this person affects me where i'm at it, it was more so like let me see where i'm at point is sh uh this girl ended up inviting me to eat we had a great time i'm not even gonna front and she ended up apologizing ta, ta, ta. she even then ended up talking about like you know it's because ta, ta, ta. she admitted like oh i'm battling these demons and ta, 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 ta. when i when someone 
you can't look when you cut people out and i go like this quote unquote because there is no separation we're all one take it however you'd like people are on different scales with the information that they've ac acquired in their life their experiences yada 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 so my point is even if i cut someone out i wish them well i in the deepest of my heart it doesn't matter i wish you well even if you've hurt me i wish you well i wish you well and if you become a greater person or not if you expand your greatness or not that's on you but either way i'm not gonna wish ill on you i wish you well to everybody even to those honestly even more so to people who have intentionally hurt me like i don't think i can honestly say i'm not out here in the world intentionally trying to hurt anybody and i've always told people if i've ever hurt you let me know and even if you don't let me know if i've ever hurt you i apologize because that was not my intent but if you would like to talk about it and help me become a better person that's even better but anyway so the girl she was like oh you know i was battling demons that the thought whatever no problem like it was cool i had a great time i'm still going on about my life okay so now this girl's like calling me every day all right no problem but then it's like girl like you just like grab on and it's like it's it doesn't even feel like a reciprocal relationship it feels more so like you just want to like hop on my back and you want me to carry you like i'm not about that like you really you got two legs like so my point to that is da, 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 our birthdays are close together so a few days come go by she invited me to uh, a get to a, a party that they were gonna have for her and a another friend of hers they were gonna do a joint birthday party but honestly it's like eh, i'm already kind of iffy about you i'm not trying to be placed in the center of a whole bunch of hyenas that i don't know i still don't even know you like that in the sense of i haven't talked to you in a while we're just putting our feet in water again okay so the point is i hit her up the day before because i wanted to drop her off a present da, 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 we go her man who i know because we were all friends the thing okay here's the situation her man sits right here and she sits right here like why can't you both like stand in front of me or something like that like the point is i i'm not i can't look at either one of them i can only look at one of them at at a time even if they're not saying anything you know it felt like a setup it felt like a setup but andrew tate spoke of this one time how you gotta let the enemy think you're a fool long enough for you to know what it is that they're after you know what i mean so Whatever it is that they were after, they, I've already come to know. They're after my essence, all that I am. They want to take who I am and mirror it out into the world and act like who I am is who they are. But it just doesn't work like that. It's not innate in them. Maybe I can help you be a better you, but it just doesn't work like that for envious people. So all that to say... I was like, oh, okay. You give you give a person a, another opportunity, and they just show you that the that they're the same person. These people don't change. As a person who's actually very fixed in character and the things I like, yada yada 